Hey there YouTube, what's up, this is Spool, and today I'm bringing you a brand new video and I'm going to be talking to you about where I've been the past couple months and why I haven't been uploading any videos. So, first I want to talk to you about what happened. So I came home for spring break, or no, it wasn't spring break, it was some court, it was some kind of break and I had a doctor's appointment so I came back home and then the snow ended up getting really bad so I had to wait until the next day to go up and I had to leave pretty early because I had two exams that day and another class afterward so I had to get there pretty early it was about seven or eight when I left yeah it was about seven or eight and as I'm going the snow was kind of in and out and I was on the throughway and I'm not going very fast and then all of a sudden the snow is just absolutely covering the road and I'm driving and my car weighs about two pounds like literally I could walk up and pick it up with my pinky and hold it over my head because it's that light so it doesn't really do well in the snow I mean if you're driving and there's a car in front of you whatever that car does in front of you because of the snow tracks my car will follow it so it's not really the best car to drive in the snow but it's the only one I had and I had to get back to school so as I'm going I start to switch lanes because there's a plow up in front of me and as I'm switching lanes, all of a sudden, I get about halfway over, and then my front wheels just start turning, and then my whole entire car starts turning, and I end up going into the snowbank at about a 50 or 60 degree angle, and my car flips over and lands in the snow. Now, it was pretty intense, and it was honestly very fun. It, it was, and I'm very lucky that I survived it even, because as the car went up, you can see where I hit the snowbank, and then like 10 or 12 feet later, where my car actually landed in the snow. So it was a very long distance that I traveled, and again, I landed right upside down, so as the roof was caving in, my head was going down and hitting the roof, so I was pretty lucky. Now, after the accident, like immediately after, um, I remember everything. I remember the car hitting, and it was a very familiar feel of the car hitting the snow because I, I couldn't figure it out why because I was sitting there and I was like I've never flipped my car before there's no way that this is a familiar feeling but then I realized it's like when you're snowboarding and you fall down on your shoulder but the only difference is that I wasn't having a whole bunch of snow go in my face I mean I had glass shatter from the windshield or not the windshield the driver's side window but besides that it was exactly like you're falling off the snowboard anyways I remember waking up and there was a little piece of glass in my mouth so I was like what the heck so I spit that out and then I realized I'm hanging upside down and then <laughs> I had to lower myself down uh, I put one arm onto the roof and then the other one I unbuckled and then I kind of like fell down and then I lowered myself the rest of the way and if you haven't seen my car it's an extremely small car and I'll put a picture here so that you guys can see what it looks like after the accident and I ended up having to crawl so I put down the driver's side seat so that I could crawl into the back so that I could then get out eventually but once I got into the back I was out of the snow so I wasn't like freezing anymore and I called my dad so I let him know what was up and I guess from the way I sounded he thought that I just gently drove into the snowbank <laughs> because apparently I sounded very calm um, so he didn't get that I flipped and he was actually going to stop and grab a uh, tow line so that he could pull me out of the snowbank. But I, I ended up flipping, so I wouldn't have worked at all. And then um, I look over and I see my monitor, brand new that I got for Christmas. It was hanging upside down. It didn't move at all the entire time. And I'm very happy for that because it's a pretty expensive monitor. But anyways, I end up crawling out, or I then put down the passenger seat after I get everything out, um, out of the way so that I could put it down. So I put down the passenger seat, I open up the passenger door, and I crawl out. And this is what makes me think, like, when I blacked out, I couldn't have been out for more than, like, 30 seconds or a minute. Because all the cars that were there, like, the ones that saw me flip were just sitting there waiting for me, making sure I was okay. And... Uh, I get out, I see what mile marker I'm at, and I text my dad so that he knows where I am so he can come get me. And it was just, it was a lot of fun, but it was very dangerous. Like, I very easily could have died when that happened, and I didn't. So, I'm very lucky for that. But, 
eventually the sheriff got there and then they filled out the accident report and all that and then the tow truck came and when the tow truck flipped the stuff over because you're not allowed to get the stuff out of your car on the highway or on the throughway or whatever because i mean obviously it could be pretty dangerous um the tow truck ended up flipping the stuff back over and again nothing nothing got damaged the xbox stayed perfectly fine my monitor everything stayed basically exactly where it was it just flipped right upside down and then right back it just it didn't even move it was insane but right after the accident i didn't really feel any headache or anything like that <clears throat> and then eventually um about I want to say an hour or an hour and a half later is when I started to get a slight headache. So it's like, you know what, maybe we should go get checked out and make sure I'm okay and everything like that. And we get to the hospital, and that's when the dizziness started settling in along with the headache. The headache was getting a little bit worse. The dizziness was getting pretty bad as well. Um, they said that I had a mild concussion, and then they sent me back home to make sure I'm okay. Um, so I could be monitored so that I don't end up slipping into a coma while I'm sleeping or anything like that. So after that, I was going to go back home, but when I woke up, or back to college, but when I woke up, I still wasn't feeling very good. I was actually feeling worse than what I was before, which makes sense because the brain's swelling up, so everything's still getting worse. Um, so after a couple days of that, or I want to say three or four days, um, it wasn't getting any better. It was still getting worse. So I decided to go back to the urgent care office i believe it was here and the concussion was then changed from a mild concussion to a severe concussion because this was the point where i couldn't even stand up basically it took me 12 seconds to stand up from a chair and get balanced to be able to walk and i couldn't even walk from my living room to the bathroom and that's about maybe 10 15 steps without almost passing out so that's how bad i was it was absolutely awful and it was not fun i mean the challenge of standing up was pretty fun honestly but beyond that it, it really sucked i couldn't do anything uh so once that happened i ended up <clears throat> excuse me going to physical therapy well i got referred to a concussion specialist and then he sent me to physical therapy they gave me a cane to help me walk um i couldn't play any video games i could barely watch tv uh, a lot of the time i had to close my eyes because there was just too many colors that i couldn't really comprehend it and it just started hurting my brain um but now it is two months later i am finally uh playing a lot of games again um, i have been playing but i haven't really been able to i basically wanted to make sure that i was fully recovered enough before i started making videos again just because i don't want to relapse and have to go through all that again because i'm supposed to go back to the oh i had to withdraw from school so I'm supposed to go back to school in the fall, and I have a summer job that I'm working at, so I really don't want to end up relapsing and not being able to do those things. So I wanted to make sure I was good before I started making videos again, and I've been playing, and as you can see from the gameplay, I have gotten a couple gameplays, I've been doing some stuff, and I'm finally able to start making videos again, and talking to you guys, and sharing, and everything like that, and I'm very excited for it, and I really missed you guys, and I really missed making videos, because it's a lot of fun, and I love doing it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little rant of what happened, and where I've been, and I hope you guys understand why I've been uploading. Um, out of all the excuses, I think this is one of the better ones that I could have possibly had so anyways i hope you guys tune in for the next video if you like this one please like if you like my videos and want to see more then please subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye